Hello everyone, it's Adam here. So I'm going to do a series here and we're going to start with video one, which is going to be the essential things you're going to need to do your own siphon at home, coffee siphon. Um, if you're going to do this at your office, make sure that you they're okay with um, having a, a burning stove in the office, especially one that's powered by alcohol, denatured alcohol, or butane. Um, and let's go over sort of what we have so far, and the next part of this video will be on the siphon itself. This is just sort of the accessories. So uh, for starters here, not very important to some of you, but it is very important to those of us that uh, really wanted to give this a good go, which is the uh, bamboo stick. Now you can use a straw, a spoon, a knife, uh, your finger if you really want to get scalded, but um, basically once I put the coffee into the hot water at the top of the siphon, uh, you're giving it a good stir, you're waiting a bit of time, giving it another good stir, and I'll demonstrate that in the video, the next video, but um, you know, this is pretty important and it looks nice. It, it was recommended, so I got it. Um, let's talk about the filters here. So we've got the Hario Coffee Siphon Paper filters, Filter System. So these work with the F103P, F103M, and F103MN uh, siphon setups. If you're buying one of these siphons, uh, it will come with a um, metal filter, which is permanent, and you can use that as much as you want. Some of them even come with a few different cloth filters, which are washable and reusable. You can uh, use those forever if you'd like. Um, I found that cloth and metal filters tend to leave sediment behind, and this was $7 for uh, 100 of these, so I decided to go ahead and purchase 100 filters. If you look at these, if you're used to doing AeroPress or if you're used to doing Chemex, it looks like the unbleached uh, Chemex or AeroPress filters. Pretty simple concept. Uh, it filters out sediment, so your coffee is clear and clean and tasty. Um, I don't like French press because of the sediment. I don't like uh, some of the Chemex metal cones because of the sediment. So better to grab those as an option. I did not grab any cloth filters, but I'll make a couple of batches with the metal filter, and I think it comes with one cloth filter to try, and then I'll probably end up defaulting these. If I don't, it's easier to return them. Okay, before we get on to this, your siphon will likely come with a burner. Uh, make sure before you order that you verify it as a burner or it is not. Most of the cheap ones, aka siphons that are under 150 bucks, will have a denatured alcohol burner. Uh, denatured alcohol is quite cheap, but those burners tend to not have any adjustment. And they also, um, which means whenever the water starts boiling, you want to reduce the temperature to let the coffee uh, come back into the main pot via the vacuum. And the denatured alcohol burners don't have a control, so therefore you're going to have to take the burner kind of off the heat, and it's kind of an awkward process. So that's the first issue. The second one is, um, for some reason, the butane burger burner is okay at my work, and the alcohol one is not. Uh, and the second issue, which is a really big one, is the denatured alcohol burners I have less BTUs than a butane burner. So if you, unless you're starting with really hot coffee, oh, sorry, really hot water, uh, it's going to take a very long time for the denatured alcohol burner to get that water up to boiling temperature. Um, and it's always recommended for baristas, if you guys aren't aware of this, that you use cool to cold tap water. Don't use hot water from the tap. Uh, and the reason why is because the hot water pulls from the water boiler. And sometimes it adds additional metals to your tap water. So start with cool water or filtered water before you, um, before you start burning. So assuming that I'm starting with cold water that's filtered, uh, the the um, Yama Mini Butane Burner for Tabletop Siphons will be what I'm going to use. This was $45, and even though my Hario Siphon comes with an alcohol denatured uh, burner, I decided to spend the $45 bucks to get this. So, uh, this is the RK4203. Use butane only. Pretty simple. Here is the burner. So you'll see here we've got our control. Actually, I'll put it this way into the thing. We've got our control, which is just the, uh, the intensity, the amount of butane that's released, and we have our starter here. Uh, before you start it, make sure this is fully closed, and that, or before you, before you fill it, to make sure this is fully closed. We're gonna fill down here, and you'll see any butane that you buy from Zippo or any other company is gonna have this little nozzle, and you'll use this to fill. Just like that. Okay, we filled this. We used the uh, the part here in the bottom, as you can see, to fill it up. Make sure you read the instructions on how to do this. Uh, by turning the counterclockwise, you'll start to hear some butane coming out. Click this button here, and then you can adjust. 
all the way until you turn it off. Now we're going to unbox the Hario Next Coffee Siphon. This is the uh, NXA5. It includes metal filter and the cloth filter. Um, 600 milliliters translates to five cups, which as we know as Americans, that's not, you know, for us a full cup, but I think each cup is four or five ounces uh, for the Europeans and the Japanese. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Who's excited? Me. All right, well, let's get the uh, everything taken out here first. There we go, now we're all in frame. So, uh, before we get to the actual maker itself, it comes with this. You use this to scoop coffee beans out of your thing. You can also use this as a, see if I can see the frame, use as a stirrer. I personally like to use this guy, but uh, hey, it's nice they included it. It feels nice, it's soft, it bends a little bit, but I imagine it has a pretty good heat tolerance. Um, eight to 10 grams of coffee per scoop, it says. This is our alcohol. Uh, our denatured alcohol burner. I'm going to keep this in the paper actually because I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use the um, the butane burner that I bought instead uh, for reasons I've already outlined. Uh, alcohol burner is here. Put that back in the box so I don't want to touch it. So I can sell it one day with the, with the siphon. And then here is our lid that we put on top of the coffee after stirring so we don't let any aroma escape and it allows a good seal for the coffee being brought back into the uh, the pot. Also has the same similar feeling as the spoon, really nice. Okay, on to what I paid the good money for, which is this guy. We have got some instructions here. We've got our filters. Uh, I'll have to remove this later. I'll probably put some hot water in here to remove this sticker. Here's our lid. Got some plastic here to take off. Uh, looks really nice though, standard Hario glass looking. Put that aside carefully, you don't want to break this stuff. And then we have our stand with pot, like so. so that's in, in, in view for you guys. So, unscrew here to release, which I'll never really have to do to be honest. Has a nice uh, rubber feeling here so it's not metal on glass, which is nice. Screw this back in. That's kind of a nice uh, operation actually. Fits well. Um, make sure that's tight. Uh, yep. Coffee Siphon 5 has the milliliters for 400, 500, and 600. Handle feels good. Nice, uh, nice rubber feel to it. This is on top like this. Now let's unbox these two things. So we've got our paper, our cloth filter, one cloth filter, and I won't unbox this one uh, right now. But it's the cloth filter. Oh, you only have that focus. It's the cloth filter with the uh, metal thing that hangs down. We are going to unbox our metal filter though because I'm going to need it for the paper filter situation. So. Metal filter, rubber seal. This goes down here, like so. And then the spring loads up. Let's make sure this is straight on. Pull this tight, now we've got our seal. And this goes in here, like so. So, we have our burner. Um, before I show, let's, let's give this a turn actually, so you guys can see me. Um, so before I show how to actually brew coffee with this, uh, I'm going to give it a week or so to brew my own batches and really nail down, uh, narrow down the way I want to brew the, the, uh, the coffee. Then I will show you guys in the next video. So this is just sort of introduction to the equipment. In the next video I will talk about the grinder, I will talk about the scale that I use, sort of go into those details, and then I will show how to brew a batch of coffee with the Hario siphon. Um, so thanks for watching and have a good night.